Hey what's up guys welcome to another video. The Galaxy S21 Ultra benchmark score leaks confirms RAM and chipset specs. The Galaxy S21 models are expected to be powered by Qualcomm and Samsung latest and greatest 5nm processor Snapdragon 888 and Exynos 2100. While Exynos 2100 is not yet been announced and we are expecting that the announcement may come later this day. So, the Snapdragon 888 and the Qualcomm X60 modem are made on the latest 5 nanometer processor like the Apple A14. Unlike Apple chip, however, Qualcomm modem is integrated as the system on chip solution, ensuring frugal battery draw compared to 5G modem solution like the one found on iPhone 12 Pro Max. We are expecting that the Exynos 2100 is following the footstep of Qualcomm and we see the integrated chipset inside Exynos 2100 processor. Well, while we are waiting for the Exynos Exynos 2100 processor to be replaced, there is another leak that has been surfaced online courtesy to Twitter account from Ice Universe. According to this benchmark listing, showcase the S21 Plus and the S21 Ultra benchmark for the upcoming Exynos 2100 processor. So the Geekbench listing for the S21 Ultra and the Galaxy S21 Plus with the Exynos 2100 processor gives us a detail that both the devices are coming with the same kind of a score here. With that being said, there is only going to be a difference in the RAM in which the Galaxy S21 Plus is coming with an 8 gigs of RAM and S21 Ultra is coming with a 12 gigs of RAM inside. Along with that, the Ice Universe also showcased the GPU Geekbench listing uh, on his Twitter account and it's pretty much confirmed about the previous leak which Ice Universe has previously posted that the Exynos 2100 is going to be coming with the uh, Mali G78 GPU processor inside which is going to be pretty much similar in terms of performance with the Snapdragon Adreno 660 GPU processor. So the Geekbench 5 score however are mainly focused on single and multi-core processor performance which is evidently pretty good and bound to get better when a retail version hits. Still we can't wait for the real life Snapdragon 888 vs Exynos 2100 performance impression when the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus and S21 Ultra get released. Another leak that has been arrived from the Even Plus, the first Samsung Galaxy S21 press render has been leaked. The image which has been seen gives us a pretty much good details and confirms all those leaks and rumors which are having in the last week about the flat display of the basic Galaxy S21 model. If that leak is true then this marks the first time Samsung has used a flat screen on its devices since from S10e. A punch hole design with the slim bezels have been in the leaks for the phone but despite earlier rumors it turns out that 6.2 inch Galaxy S21 won't offer on uniform bezels which could come as a disappointment to loyal fans. The same front panel design should make its way over the Galaxy S21 Plus 2 and the latter is rumored to be identical in every way. So I would probably go towards the Galaxy S21 Ultra because it would have a different design than the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. So the S21 Ultra on the other hand is going to be using a different variant of what's seen above and the key difference involves a long 6.8 inch diagonal and curved edges on either sides. Next in the leak is going to be the uh, Galaxy A52 4G model that Geekbench listing has been surfaced online. Previously we have got the Geekbench listing for the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G which was running with the Snapdragon 750G processor with 6 gigs of RAM and Android 11 support. But now the 4G variant which is popped up on the Geekbench database gives us a detail that it is powered with a 720G chipset with Android 11 support and 8 gigs of RAM on board. So the 4G model has scored higher in the 5G counterpart in the Geekbench listing but these are likely pre-production devices and we can expect a difference in performance on retail units. It's currently unclear if there is any other difference between the 4G and 5G variants of the Galaxy A52 aside from the chipset and RAM amount. So guys these are some of the latest leak that has been arrived. I'm looking forward towards the Exynos 2100 processor. Let me know your thoughts what do you think about the Exynos 2100 based on the leaks which has arrived. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you are new here on the channel do consider subscribing my channel for daily tech videos. Thanks for watching this video. Peace.